claim you sensed animosity from Victoria? Yes. Did she nominate you? She nominated my sister now. Did okay. she nominate you? No. I was just like, oh, please, is this all? Have you said anything noteworthy? Is your friendship more important than the grand prize? I'm not really somebody that an agent of chaos. Who expects you to be an agent of chaos? I took all my dreams, so bring it out now. Don't allow what happened in 1972 to happen today. Drinks are missing in Big Brother's house. Then I am wondering who stole the drink or has Big Brother given anybody tax? Is there anything that I am missing? The most joyous part of it is that the person that stole Oneka's drink locked her box with a different code. I am loving this. Since the entire housemate has refused to fight with themselves, Biggie has made it his own duty to fight with them. The fact that every housemate that entered into the diary room today, irrespective of the gender, to just do his or her direct section, kept on telling Big Brother that they expected more gist from Parrot without giving any gist to Parrot. At this moment, the Parrot is even bored. The only thing that is stopping Parrot from doing voluntary exit is Big Brother's permission. Are you aware that written messages are prohibited in Big Brother's house? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'll pass this. Big Brother just truncated Wani's happiness right in my very before. It was the fact that Wani happily wanted to just share the love letter that Sean wrote to her and Big Brother instantly angrily just told Wani, do you know that written notes are not tolerated in Biggie's house? And Wani was sadly saying, oh my god, I don't know, I am sorry. Big Brother would just be like, this is not the time for you to just be writing a love letter. I need content for crying out aloud. Today's diary section is Was Boos. Before you even give Big Brother Was, he has already given you Boos, Was, 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 Was. It was that hot. For the very first time, ever since I started watching Big Brother Niger, not minding the season, this is the very first season that I have witnessed the diary section ending abruptly. Big Brother will just tell you outrightly, your diary section has come to an end without even asking you, is there anything you just want to discuss with Big Brother? If you ask me, I will just tell you that the only reason that Big Brother is still doing the direct section in this season is because it is already part of the show. Nelly is screaming that if you know that you are the one that stole her drink, that you should just gently return it before what happened in 1972 repeats itself. And Oneka is saying that she's sensing animosity from Victoria. And Big Brother just have to ask her just one particular question. Ozi, now you do this one. I have a lot to just unpack on this particular video. And if you don't want to just miss out on any of it, do watch this particular video to the very end. But before I officially commence, can I quickly say welcome back again to my most fabulous, most interesting, most entertaining, and most intriguing channel of my Nifi Star World. And here on my channel, my only singular primary obligation is to always entertain and update you guys with non-judgmental, unsentimental, and unbiased analytical analysis of the ongoing people brother niger season 9 no lose guard and this is the very first time ever you are coming across my channel please do smash on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel and also do endeavor to turn on the notification bell that is right beside the subscribe button its function is to always notify you once i upload any new gist that has to do with the ongoing people than just season 9 no lose guard and feel free to also share your thoughts in the comment section and give this particular video a huge thumbs up i have complained several viewers are still complaining big brother is not happy ebuka also registered his concern during one of the life eviction show when he told the housemates how friday you guys are not just giving any content toki makawa was also sent by biggie into his house yesterday to also indirectly directly tell the housemate that you guys need to just do more and it is almost 36 hours ever since toki makawa left biggie's house yet no content the one that peace Biggie off the most was on Monday after doing open nomination and Parrot also exposed one or two gossip. This housemate continued with their usual kumbaya like they just continued with their family reunion. No fight, no drugs, no drama. And you people expect to just be living fine. Big Brother said, oh, you guys don't want to fight with yourselves. Now I am going to make it a duty to fight with you all. And that is what Big Brother has been doing since today. Any housemate that just enter into the diary room, if you just ask 
asked me a question, Big Brother would just counter it. It started with TJ. But the fact that TJ has all the temerity to just ask Big Brother, what is it that the housemate did that you are just punishing them? And Big Brother just attacked TJ back. It was when TJ now said that Kelly Ray is taking it personal that TJ nominated Garcia. And TJ now said, you know, I was not friend with Garcia, but I was just friend with Kelly Ray. Big Brother attacked TJ instantly. Are you here to just make friends or are you here just for competition? And this guy started stuttering. And he was just trying to say, well, Big Brother just blasted the guy. But only now told him to go and want the entire house. Just like I've said in one of my videos that they are not allowed to just carry any duvet downstairs. And they are also not allowed to wear sunglasses in the house. TJ left the diary room. The next person to just enter the diary room was just Ben. And Ben was just talking zigzagly. And Big Brother was also attacking Ben. It was when Big Brother now asked Ben, can you just evaluate what you have done so far for the past seven weeks that you have been in Biggie's house? And Ben is telling Big Brother that my clothes has even finished. That some of the housemates came in with four, five, six boxes. They did not even wear it and they left in week one, week two, week three. Ben said that as for him, that he has just finished wearing all his clothes. That as for now, that he is repeating clothes. So all Ben came to do in Biggie's house is for him to just be wearing clothes. Big Brother was so angry with Ben that Ben was expecting Big Brother to just discuss about the eggs that he was able to retrieve and also return. It was when Big Brother now told Ben to sit down after Big Brother has already told Ben that his direct section has come to an end and he already stood up to leave. And now Big Brother just told Ben, well done for just carrying out the tax. Ben was about to still say one or two things. Big Brother just told him to leave the diary room. Ben could not even utter a word. He was just there standing at Big Brother was like, ah, is this all? And he left. Tofa was caught next to the diary room. And it was just the way why Tofa was just talking to Big Brother was busy admiring himself because there is a mirror in front of that diary room. Big Brother now asked Tofa, what do you think about what Parrot said on Monday? Tofa is telling Big Brother that as for him, that he is disappointed in Parrot, that he expected Parrot to do more and say more. And Big Brother now asked Tofa, you have been in this house for seven weeks. What is it that you have said or have done that we just want Parrot to just talk more or do more. And Tofa is now telling Big Brother that he has had one or two fights. That there was a time that Onyeka said that his woman, Big Brother said, can you just be specific? He said, Onyeka said that Anita does not know how to cook. That she, Onyeka, wonders how Anita is just going to be looking out for Tofa. Tofa said that he addressed it. Big Brother was like, is that worthy enough for Parrot to just say? While Big Brother was also discussing the nomination process with Tofa, Tofa also registered his disappointment for making that mistake. All I will just say at this moment is that Tofa nominated Victoria and Biggie nominated Tofa. And it's sure for me that Tofa is certainly leaving this Sunday because I think he is yet to just contribute anything in this house, exception of just moving everywhere with Anita. If he is not kissing Anita, then he's just focusing on the sponsor tax that he is yet to just win. I need also to tell you guys that nobody's diary section lasts more than 10, 15 minutes. Gone are days that people will just come and occupy the diary section because they have nothing to just unpack. You know, normally when you just have a team just day or you have a series of things that you've done in the house if people that call you into the diary room you will have a lot to say but there is nothing it's even big brother that is even doing the diary section for them and that was how they're just taking turns to come it was when ozzy was called for his own diary section and big brother told ozzy as usual for him to also unpack his seven weeks so far in the house and ozzy is telling us that he has tried his best personally but if they are expecting him to be agent of chaos. Big Brother now asked him, who is expecting you to be the agent of chaos? He was like, nobody. So you have the temerity, the audacity, the guts to tell Big Brother if he's expecting you to fight. Just tell me that if people step on your toes, that you're not going to fight outside, right? But because the camera is on you, you are now pretending, all right? Big Brother attacked Ozzy. Ozzy was even stuttering that to the extent that he said that he was feeling feverish. Big Brother asked him if he might be needing medical attention. He was just busy there choosing his words. Big Brother was like, is it yes or no? He now said yes. Everybody noticed that Big Brother is absolutely not happy with anybody. Ozzy left. 
This was the moment camera went upstairs. So Nelly is shouting that her drinks are missing. No, that the entire drinks that she kept in her drawer is missing. That moment also, Onyeka said hers is missing. And Onyeka's own is that so bad that the person that went to her box to just pack all the drinks even locked her box with a different code. Now she cannot access her box. And while she was lamenting, every other housemate decided to just check if their own drinks is just missing. And they checked. Has was missing. Kelly Ray was coming out from the bathroom. He walked straight to his drawer and now checked his own locker. The drinks are missing. Everybody is shouting and they are saying maybe Big Brother has just taken the drinks or he has given another person a tax just like he gave to them to just retrieve and also return the eggs. And Nelly is insisting that Big Brother did not do that. It is somebody else that did it. And Nelly went back to her locker and discovered there is only one Smenov eyes remaining. And Nelly said that the person just left Smenov that she is not happy. She's not screaming that they should just bring out her drinks before what happened in 1972 should just repeat itself. I was like, you should do something. Then TJ was just coming upstairs. Nelly is sending TJ to Big Brother. Nelly told TJ to go and report to Big Brother that her drinks is missing. TJ just told Nelly, I cannot do anything, no. And Nelly was like, if they do not bring my drinks, so I'm going to start selling people's things. TJ said, do you do anything? My audience of every other house was just come downstairs because I want us to just discuss our wager. Big Brother is just trying everything he can to just instill chaos in his own very house. These housemates are still just doing kumbaya. And Onyeka was so angry that when they went downstairs for them to just do meeting about their weekly wager, that she even went down with her box because she's struggling to just open Open it. Then I am asking, who did Big Brother give this tax to? No, he did not. Probably it was the ninja that Big Brother sent. Because if he even give anybody tax, nobody's just going to do that. That Ben succeeded doesn't mean that any other husband is even willingly to just carry out this tax. Hence, Big decided to just do it himself. Big Brother has just met his own end of bargain. He tried to just make this house very comfortable. He always appreciates the housemates. He supplies them drinks all the time. Food is not even a problem, exception of when they lost their wager. And all Big Brother is just begging you guys. It's just content. And you refuse to just deliver from your own very end. Saying that you guys are not agents of chaos. Saying that you guys know each other from outside. Saying that you guys are already friends. How can you start fighting your friends? Now, just tell me, every housemate that has still in Biggie's house, so you and your friend has never been in larger head, right? It was time for Nelly's diary section. I stood up waiting to see if Nelly is going to discuss her missing drinks with Biggie, and I wanted to see what Big Brother is going to tell Nelly. Nelly was just careful enough not to even make mention of that. And after discussing, Big Brother also asked Nelly, What do you think that you have done so far for the past seven weeks? I love the fact that Nelly admitted with her full chest that for the past four or five weeks that she is yet to just do nothing that she's not promising that she might start doing something i was like you have had series of opportunity for you to do something you choose to just walk away I remember vividly that during your reign as the head of the house for complete two weeks Chimwe was just stepping on your toes. In fact, her hands was just fixed on your necks. That girl almost strangled you, but you just choose peace over chaos. I expected you to attack that girl. You did not. Even after that uh, life eviction show that Wani said that your butt is not original, that you don't have thick ties to support them. I expected you to just follow Wani, bomba to bomba. Guess what? Nelly, choose peace over chaos. This is not the first time. This is not the second time, but I cannot say if it's going to just be the last time. And here you are now promising Big Brother that you just want to start trying your best. When by Sunday now, if three housemates leaves, are you going to just start chaos with just 13 housemates? This you could have done a very, very long time ago. And Big Brother just told Nelly as usual, your diary section has come to an end. I said, me, I also want to watch Onyeka's diary section. Let me also see if she's going to complain to Big Brother about her box and also her missing drink. She also was very careful not to even make mention of that. Then and immediately she entered into the diary room for her diary section. She started complaining and lamenting even before Big Brother would just ask her a question. She kept on talking and talking and for the first 15 minutes, Onyeka is just speaking about Victoria. She said that Victoria did this. Victoria was angry that the parrot talk. Yes, I accepted I said it. I was trying to play. You are playing with somebody you just nominated openly. And she now said is it not a Victoria said something parrot talk and Victoria is looking for a fight. Then gave her the fight but he said no. He said you're not going to just give her the fight and then you now apologize then you don't understand you've been noticing what is happening in fact you are not sensing animosity from victoria and big brother just told her immediately you 
are sending animosity from Victoria. Onyeka said yes. But Victoria did not even nominate you. So make it make sense to me. And she said, I hey, Victoria nominated my sister. And Big Brother was like, are you your sister? Remember that it's not a solo game. You are not supposed to even be seen Chizoba as your sister, rather as your competitor. So what is your business in the nomination? And she started lamenting up and down. The truth is that OZ is the problem between Onyeka and Victoria. And if Victoria survived this Sunday and OZ survived this Sunday, Onyeka is still going to nominate Victoria next week. I might even nominate OZ alongside Victoria. The point is that Victoria is Onyeka's competition when it comes to OZ, not when it comes to this particular competition proper. You are just busy fighting who is not even fighting you. Only you even said that Victoria went upstairs to change mini skirt because of OZ. You are just angry with what happened between Victoria and OZ on Saturday party and you just had a brief fight with OZ. You refused to just step down from your high horses and have a conversation with OZ for you people to solve the wahala. You did not. OZ decided to just move straight to Victoria and Victoria is obliging the company and is really getting to you because the whole of Monday night and the whole of yesterday OZ and Victoria has been together. Funny enough, they were also in the same dancing competition that they have been doing every morning. They did just return from the uh, morning exercise and also they were in the same group during their yesterday and Martin soft jail sponsor tax. This is really stepping on Onyeka. Hence Onyeka just came to offload everything to Big and Big did not even give her the space for her to just even talk and that was how Big Brother also told Onyeka that your direct session has come to an end and Onyeka stood up and left knowing that Big Brother is not ready to engage not her and not anybody. The next person to enter the room was OC and they just took my light and the next person after OC was Anita. I couldn't listen because I just needed to do this video and of course Anita has definitely nothing to just discuss because first she was not nominated secondly she is yet to give any content so far the only reason she is still in that house is because nobody has just nominated her yet as the direct section progresses on it was the turn of Wani. Wani happily entered the jury room and after Big Brother asked Wani how she is feeling and she answered Big Brother and asked Wani what is it that is beside you and happily Wani now said it is the love letter that she wrote to me remember that I told you the last time that he wrote me that I'm going to just come with it and Big Brother instantly told Wani, are you not aware that written notes are prohibited in Biggie's house? Wani now said, oh my god, I am not aware. I am sorry. Apologies. Big Brother now asked her again, oh, you did not read the rule books. Apparently, she did not because she could not answer that question. Big Brother now asked her again, is the rule book not in the house? She said, it is so, but it is in the head of the house lounge. Is it supposed to be where it was to be? Anyways, she apologized and Big Brother is now asking her to just narrate how she felt about the nomination process and every other thing he has been asking the entire housemate. And I know that once this direct section is done, the next thing is going to just be sponsor tax. And after sponsor tax, this housemate will just return back to the house and the next thing is just to do kumbaya, sleep, and just wait for another day. So if people that did not create content, they are not going to create content. If people that did not stay any chaos, they are certainly not going to just do so. So I love the fact that Big Brother is the one now fighting with them. Big Brother is certainly just going to do more. And I have to also tell you guys what Big Brother has done so far. In case you've not heard it or watched it in any of my previous videos. Firstly, Big Brother resided the head of the house lunch. Yes, the current head of the house, TJ, does not have access to the head of the house condo. Ben is also complaining because this is the only opportunity that Ben has has for him to enjoy the head of the house lounge now they cannot assess it big brother also have seized their ludo game this one i love it the most big brother has also stopped supplying them hot water you know that's what used to hear this is big brother hot water is now available big brother is not giving them hot water it's for the fact that all of them are complaining that are catching cold because they are baiting with very cold water big brother also has given them last morning not to wear sunglasses and also not to to remove the duvet from the room and big brother now have decided to just disturb them with distress sounds firstly was a coughing distress sound and lastly in the midnight was a crying baby in distress i am sitting pretty here waiting to see if nelly is going to fight because of her missing 
drink because when she came out from the diary room her only smell of eyes was missing and she was asking who took it everybody was pretending this person will call this person this person will call another person they called ben when she got to the kitchen ben said it's chizoba chizoba said that nelly should just ask suj nelly is attacking suj that if you are aware of my where my missing drink is and you did not tell me i'm not going to find it funny with you and suj was just looking at nelly that was when onyeka from nowhere decided to just tell nelly this is where they kept this man off it was beside the snooker just go and take it allow this thing to just happen let nelly search for her drink at least it might be entertaining you choose to interrupt it only thing you know how to say is that you sense animosity from victoria but you're not altering a particular content that could have said Let's see if Nelly is just going to do anything because I'm having said and if she's going to continue shouting and lamenting or if she will just choose a family reunion or be doing kumbaya, whatever that happens. But if people are just to do any other thing, I am certainly going to just tell you guys. And until then, I am still your favorite entertainer with continuous entertaining entertainment saying this is people that are just season nine, no lose girl. And once you audition for the next season, please do know that you must be chaotic you must give content and you must be dramatic or else don't they be biggest guest